Hey everyone, today we would be talking about radio buttons and check buttons. They are another type of widgets. They can be used while making a form. So this is a very simple program. To make it a bit interesting, what I would do is I would give in commands to these buttons. Whenever the buttons would be filled in, the specified function would be called. And the function that I would define would declare another tinker window and uh, show us some message for that i will use canvas widget we have already discussed it in the last video so let's start writing the code for it from tinker i'll import star and i'll have my window master window i'll write win tk brackets i will also give in a title i'll write win dot title let the title be radio buttons. Cool. Then I will have an int variable. So I'll write v equals int var. So this int var would be used to control the variable value for the radio button or check buttons. It would be used to set its current value option. Now this int var function can hold integer data where we can set integer data and we can even retrieve it using the getter and setter methods. For right now, just remember that v int var is used to set the value of radio button or check button. Okay. Now I'll have my radio button. I'll write radio button. And I want my radio button on the window. So I'll write win. And the text that I want is radio button one. And variable I will give in to be V. And let the active background be pink. And active foreground be purple. And the command. I told you I'll be giving in a command. So the command name would be pre. Okay, so I'll define this pre. What pre would do is it would show up another window with the text value accepted. Now how I would do this, I would use canvas and create text function by canvas. So I'll write wind equals tk. Here I have another window for tinker. I'll write C equals canvas. Where I want the canvas, I want it on the window. So I'll give in wind. And background color, let it be light green. Then I'll pack this canvas. I'll write C dot pack. Then I will create text. I'll write C dot create text. Let the coordinates be 100 comma 10. Let the text be value accepted. I'll fill in with purple. Then the font, let it be 16. Cool. Then I'll run the main loop. I'll write wind dot main loop okay now let's get back to the main code i've given pre as command and now i will use grid for this because i want the radio buttons in a specific line or a row so i'll write dot grid row equals zero fine i will have another radio button so I'll write v2 equals int var radio button when text equals radio button 2 variable let it be v2 active background let's keep it the same as above 
then command pre fine and uh, for grid now the row number would be one because i want it in the next line so i'll write dot grid row equals one similarly you can have the check buttons they are very similar it's just the difference of the symbol so i'll have variable one equals int var check button window where i want it i want it on the window and text check button one variable is var one and again i'll give in grid i'll not pack this i'll use grid and row let it be three if you're given the same row number then the things would overlap and you would not be able to see the radio buttons so given a number greater than one or zero then i'll have another variable var2 int var check button win text equals check button 2 variable var2 and grid row 4 fine then i can run the main loop i'll write win dot main loop so let's run this and let's see if everything works as we have defined it if we can call on to 3 as we given the value for radio buttons so i can see the radio buttons and check buttons on the window and when i click on the check buttons they get checked nothing else happens but when i click on the radio buttons I can see another window popping up with value accepted message and same as with the other radio button if I click on it I can see another window so we could actually give in the command and execute it properly so giving in this command also helped you in practicing canvas once that's it about radio buttons and check buttons you can check out once what all arguments we could give to radio buttons or check buttons. Thank you.